Going on before us, amen. Amen. We're, we're, to be honored, and we're honored to be here with the styles, amen. And my little notation that I got for the styles is that we're styling and profiling. All right now. All right now. Last night we were blessed with, with a, a, a pastor, a, a, come on, help me with the name. Christopher uh, Collier. Uh, pastor Collier last night, amen. And this is what I got out of Pastor Collier. I think he preached from Amos 3 and 3. And uh, he said, how can two walk together except we be in agreement? Uh -huh, uh -huh. And my little notation came from that. How can two of us walk together with your sin in between us? Uh -huh. All right. Okay, then my, then my third, the third person was Pastor Michelle King, amen. Uh, my, my little notation concerning her is love in motion. Yes, yeah, well, that's okay. Y'all don't have to worry about that. This is my wife. This, this, this is what's on God's mind moving in the earth towards y'all. Better come on, get happy with me, y'all. Amen. Then this afternoon, I did Vasilis Crystal Swanning it, right? My, my, my topic for her was poop. P O O P. But don't get nervous. Come on, they ain't saying that they will poop. I said, that's my topic for that purpose. Out of pain. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, that's what I got out of purpose. Purpose out of pain. You know, sometimes you can go through some stuff, but if I can find a purpose for it, I'm right in the house here. Yeah. David said, I'm content on every level. In other words, he said, I'm going to hold that thing right there in check until I can identify what it is with my purpose that I should do with it. Yeah. So I'm going to purpose myself out of pain. y'all got on your nose, but this is my commercial. Yes. Amen. All right. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. And this mighty man of God just got through Pastor Coleman. Amen. And this is what I got out of here. He came from Genesis 1 and 26. The Bible says, in the beginning, God. Right? In the beginning. Right? God didn't begin when the beginning began, but he began the beginning. Right? Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. I'm telling you. Come on now. God did not begin when the beginning began, but he began the beginning. Say it with me one more time. God did not begin when the beginning began, but he began the beginning. Right? And he said in Genesis 1 and 26, in the beginning, God, right? Right? Come on, talk to me. 1 and 26, what did it say? Genesis 1 and 26, what was the title of another page? What did it say? 1 and 26. Where y'all at? <laughs> Genesis 1 and 26, what did it start out with? What did it say? And God said, and God said, let us make. Wait a minute, they said, and God said, let us right. make man. Now, in the beginning, they said it was God, so ain't nobody there but God. So then why would God come back to Genesis 1 and 26 and say, now in the beginning, God, right? Then he said, and now let us make man. What do you mean, let us make man? That word right there, let us make man, comes from the word infinite. Wow. Y'all are going to say that to me now. And you understand us as, as, as human beings, we are fine. That means you have the ability to talk to the end of yourself. So in the beginning, God, God, in the beginning, God, right? In the beginning, God, that word in is all encompassing. It means this, it said in the beginning, God, and then God created. That word in means all encompassing means to be robed. Y'all ain't saying that. Wow. Do you need to look up the word in? I can it would blow your mind. Just get a regular dictionary. And it got that many definitions for the word in. That word in means to be cloaked with. Y'all ain't saying that. It says, in the beginning, God created, right? In other words, God cloaked himself first before he created. Woo! <laughs> he robed himself before he began to create. In other words, he said, I'm establishing the geographical order of my government right before I created. So I'm already establishing because I'm already coming all the way through power now to the very end. And now I'm getting ready for you to walk out what I've already taught. Numbers 33. <laughs> Numbers 33 I'm sorry. Numbers 33, verse 1. Somebody keep me on time. What time is it? You got it. Numbers 33, chapter 1. 
Come on, y'all read this for me. These are the journeys of the children. Say, these are the what? The journeys. The journeys. Somebody underline the word journeys. Yeah. You, you don't make this in one trip. Yes. Yeah. Go right now. You, you don't get it done in one try. Yes. Yeah. These are the journeys. And what is that? Of the children of Israel. Of the children of Israel. Which went forth out of the land of Egypt. They went forth out of the land of Egypt, which is the land of bondage. In other words, you can't make a journey until you're coming up out of something. Jesus. Just because you're moving in it don't mean you're free from it. That's right. Wow. Wow. But these are the journeys. I got to chronologically write down the geographical location of the governmental rule of God that's marching in the earth, and I'm going to write it down and log it. Come on, Pastor. All right. That's good. All right. Then I got to have a testimony of the power of heaven. Come on. That the kingdom of God can move. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me. Come on. That the kingdom of God now establishes itself in the earth yeah. to purpose. He said, I'm going to write it down in stages. And I'm going to write it down temporary. Can y'all hear me on this side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay y'all look, looking at me for a little bit. Y'all fall of y'all sleep with second wave or something. Woo! <laughs> he said, I'm getting ready to write down in itinerary. I'm getting ready to write down for you all the mindset of the geographical places that we need to take over. Mm. in the first one of the 
15th day of the first month on the morrow after the Passover of the children of Israel, they went out. Somebody said, I'm, I'm on my way up out of this thing. I'm on my way up out of this thing. Yeah, tell them I'm on my way up out of this thing. I'm on my way up out of this thing. And they went out with a high hand in the sight of all of their enemies. In other words, they went out strapped. Mm. See, for where you get ready to go, you got to be strapped. You got to be armed. Jesus. See, God, God, God will take you to a place. Watch this now. He don't take you to a place where there ain't no enemy. Woo! And if you've been real good for a long time, he said, well, I'll send an enemy to your house, actually. Oh. Because my will and my power is a spot to your trials, your tactics, and your failures. Amen. My word is proven on whatever level you are. Revelation 10. But then at the end of that statement, it said, but we win. But 